Hello guys, Jolly the Vlog back with another video and today I'm going to be going over the Marvel Legends movie figure. I've been wanting this figure so bad, I've been hearing so many good things about it. So yeah, you can see all the accessories here and stuff that it comes with and then you can see the side of the packaging has that giant venom tongue with the sharp teeth and everything and that nice milky eye. I wish we could have gotten it on the figure because it definitely looks like we don't, but you can see it on the other side too. And then the back reads, failed reporter Eddie Brock is hijacked by an alien entity that takes a liking to Earth and decides to protect it. And then you see the action figure version of Venom and one of the poses that he is in. This looks awesome and I love this a lot. You can see the Venom logo right there, also right here. And then you can see the Marvel Legends series and these giant hands that he has and all the accessories. So let's open this figure up and let's check him out. So here's what the Venom figure looks like out of the box and it looks absolutely awesome. But first I do want to get into the accessories. Okay, so these are all the accessories that this figure come with. Is he good? Not really. I mean, not themselves. It's just that we don't get a lot. We should have gotten at least some stuff that we actually saw in the movie. We kind of only have these open claw hands and the fisted hands, which look great. And I love the veinage that they put throughout the arms and the matching up with the hands. But I wish we could have gotten more like a blade that he had or something like that or an extended arm piece. It would have looked really, really awesome in that nice shiny black plastic. We did also get this other head sculpt, which has a little nick right there, unfortunately, on mine. But it looks pretty good. Um, it doesn't look bad, just the teeth look a little bit messy, and it kind of looks like, like, glue or something. So, that is a little bit, um, messy there, and unfortunate. But, other than that, the accessories are pretty good. Uh, or themselves, um, you know, what we get here is kind of, uh, sad for around, like, 25 to, like, $30. And taking a look at the other head sculpt that this figure comes with, it looks awesome. Uh, it looks really, really good. Uh, the white eyes look pretty good. I do have a little bit of paint splotch right there, which is not good. But this does look really good. The teeth are, again, that messy type when you can see some of the paint completely missing. The tongue coming out looks really, really cool. And I like how it's curled up like this. It does look awesome. And you can see some of, like, little, like, slimish stuff in that, like, kind of, I don't know, it's not even, like, a different color, it's just all in that one color, which looks really, really cool. The head sculpt looks great, and, uh, yeah, there's not much how you can move it, but it, for what it looks like, it's pretty good. So, with all the detail that this figure has packed for us, he is quite tall. Yeah, this does look really, really good, and I love how tall this thing is. It towers over other figures like Spider-Man, even the Iron Spider from the early wave and stuff like that. This definitely looks awesome. It looks really good. I love all the veins. It's in this like milky white color, which looks really good, especially against the black. A couple errors here, but not really anything major. And it even goes on to the actual arms itself, which is really, really cool. So they do move like that though. And on the back, it's even good too. They look like random lightning strikes that just come raining down a dark sky. This looks really, really great on the back. And for a giant black chunk of plastic, People have been complaining, but honestly, this is kind of what you paid for. You see what it looks like in the box, and you bought it. Um, so, it's it's definitely good, in my opinion. You definitely know what you're getting, and this is pretty much it. And for what it is, it does look really, really good. The hips are a little bit out, but I don't think that's that much of a problem. I think they're fine. Um, the arms, do they hang a little bit too low? Kind of, but it's not r uh, something that's really, really jarring. When you bend this back, it looks fine. You have the ab crunch back and the diaphragm joint, so that is really good. Ab crunch forward and the diaphragm joint f goes forward as well. So that's pretty cool. And then the sculpting on the arms, or actually the paint on the arms look pretty good and all that stuff, and it matches up pretty well. So... I'm pretty sure that's going to be it for the actual detail on this figure. Let me show you what the other head sculpt looks like on this guy. Just pop that off and put this one on. So here's the other head sculpt, and it's not bad. It just looks a little bit, like, weird sometimes. So you can definitely move this up, and you have a lot more freedom with this head sculpt. So it, that is pretty cool to note. So the, again, this is what the other one looks like on the figure. However, I prefer this one. This one looks awesome. Now going on to the articulation, the arms move out this far, which is pretty good. Diaphragm joint is really good. Then the ab crunch back with the diaphragm joint is really nice. Ab crunch forward with the diaphragm joint is really good as well. And uh, yeah, it just stops at that little ab part there, which is nice. And then you do have the double jointed uh, knees, which is nice, as well as double jointed elbows, which are really good. And then, of course, 
360, move around like that. And then the ankle goes this far down, which is great, and this far up, which is really good. Uh, legs kick this much forward, this far back, not really that good, but the ankle does help it out, and the double jointed knees as well. And then upper thigh cut here, and then the hips move out this far, which is pretty good for a Venom figure, especially this big. And uh, the head moves up this uh, high and down, looks down that much, which is pretty okay. And then with the other one, you barely get any movement out of it, which is kind of unfortunate because it is like the sickest head sculpt that you get in this. This far up, that far down. Not really, eh, I mean, yeah, you can kind of like half do it there. It looks fine, uh, but you do get a little bit of a see-through part there. But honestly, I don't, don't really mind it. This looks awesome. Taking a look at this figure, this figure stands at almost eight inches tall, like, I want to say, like, right there, pretty much, like, putting this normal size. Yeah, I'd say he's about almost eight inches tall. Doing some size comparisons here, we have the Iron Spider from the Infinity War Thanos Build-A-Figure Wave, and then we have the Iron Man and Thanos 2-pack uh, armored Thanos next to the Venom, just to see how tall these things are. And yes, Thanos is a little bit taller. This size comparison is perfect, and I love how Venom towers over Spider-Man. And just a quick little difference, here he is next to the integrated suit. And just to see how tall this thing stands against the Iron Monger, we're gonna throw this giant thing in here. Um, so yeah, he's pretty tall, uh, the Venom. He's like a kind of a big figure at first. Then you see the uh, Iron Monger, which this thing is huge. Um, but yeah, so that's how tall that thing stared, stands uh, in comparison to that. So those are pretty much all the size comparisons that I really wanted to do between these figures, especially between these two, mostly just Spider-Man in general. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And then just showing you really quick, the uh, regular Spider-Man, his ankles are all messed up what he looks like next to him, and this is pretty much what you're gonna get, the same height difference like you saw with the integrated suit. My final verdict, my final opinion on this figure, it's great, it is awesome, I love it a lot. The head sculpts are really good on Waldo, this one does have a limit so with the articulation and how you can move it, you can definitely still get this into some cool poses. Um, this was just one that I kinda threw in there. This is really good, you do uh, only come with two accessories, which is a bummer, and you do have to remember that sometimes this will get a little loose, the ab crunch and stuff like that, but I honestly, for what, like 25 to 30 bucks, I do think that this is worth it. Maybe 40, I don't know, maybe going over a little bit that price point. But this is really, really good. Uh, last thing I forgot to mention was the toes. The toes do look really, really weird, and I don't really like that that much. But everything else, the proportions, the way this thing is shaped, the way it looks is great. Everything is awesome, and I do like this a lot. So if you see this, definitely pick this up. This is an awesome figure, and I don't think we'll get a good Venom figure like this in for a long time. Forgot to give this figure a rating, so I'm going to rate it a... I'd say a, a 9. 9 out of 10. 8. 8 out of 10. Alright guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and turn on notifications so that way you know when I post more videos like this. And if you just enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. Let me know what you guys thought about this figure in the comment section below if you like it or not. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.